Uh, hey everyone, my name is Joe Elliott. I am a principal engineer working on Tempo at Grafana, and I'm excited to show you a handful of new TraceQL features in Tempo 2.3. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is a new set of structural operators. Uh, in the past, we've looked at a, a few, like this one here, which is a descendant operator. Uh, this operator is going to look for uh, spans from a service mythical server that are descendant of mythical requester. So we've looked at this uh, operator before. It's pretty clever. It's going to allow us to find, you know, spans from a specific service downstream of a different one. And I have some good examples here. I can click like always directly into my spans and I'm finding what I'm looking for. Uh, in 2.3, we've added the reverse of this. So all structural operators, it's an important like uh, design uh, pattern we've chosen, always return the right hand side of the operator over here on the right. Um, so what happens if you want to know the opposite of this? You want to find an ancestor, and that's what we've added in 2.3. So what happens if I want to find spans from mythical requester that uh, eventually end up in a uh, mythical server somewhere? So requester to server, we've flipped our conditions here. Now we're going to get spans from, from mythical requester that uh, eventually end up in mythical server. This is an ancestor selector, and it allows us to kind of do the opposite of our um, mythical, of our uh, descendant selector. So we kind of have the opposite there with the ancestor. We also previously had this one, uh, parent. So we were looking for, uh, we were looking for spans on the right hand side that were children of the left hand side, and we reversed that one as well, like so, with the parent operator. And I can find, um, I can find uh, spans called mythical requester that have a child mythical server, just like that. So uh, one more example from the descendant structural operator is something like this. Uh, previously, we had looked at a query that let us find uh, errors, right, that were descendants of a specific HTTP target. We've kind of flipped it again. It's another application of this ancestor operator. This time, we're actually looking for um, any HTTP target that somewhere beneath it, there is an error. So this can allow us to quickly find HTTP endpoints that are having problems somewhere beneath this HTTP endpoint. I can find some errors. Um, in the other case, we had a known HTTP endpoint and we were looking for, if you recall, descendants of that that were errors. Uh, it, that query would look something like this. Um, uh, this time, we maybe don't know which endpoints are having issues. We just want to find any endpoint where somewhere beneath it is an error. And that's another use case for this new ancestor operator. So again, we're always returning the right hand side. And so we've flipped this relationship for parent and child, ancestor and descendant. And it gives us the ability to ask some different questions from Tempo. Uh, in addition, we've also added a set of operators that are uh, negated structural operators. These are currently marked experimental because they occasionally return um, they occasionally return false positives. So we have decided not to mark these GA. We're still thinking about the operator itself, but we believe they'll still be very useful for a lot of people and a lot of use cases. And so we uh, found, uh, we've, we've decided to add them to 2.3, but we've marked them experimental. We'll probably keep them that way for a while, but you might find them to be quite useful and we encourage people to try. So this is not a child, or uh, sorry, not parent. In this case, I'm looking for an error that does not have a child of type error. This is kind of cool because this allows me to find the final error in a chain. So I'm asking a question um, of these traces, right? And in this case, the question is, uh, find me an error that doesn't have an error as a child. And it allows me to quickly jump to the final error in a series of errors. Normally in traces, of course, an error propagates its way back up. This query will find the very last error in a long chain. And this kind of lets me very quickly do some root cause analysis. So if I have 20, or 30 errors all in the big chain. This query right here would find the final one, and I could use that to, to quickly determine maybe what the root cause of some of my problems were. So all of the different um, structural operators have a negated version. We encourage you to check those out, um, but uh, like I said, they do have some strange properties, especially with very large traces. Um, so give them a try and give us some good feedback. Um, this particular query here, uh, should return some leaf spans. So I'm asking for any span that doesn't have a child. It's a kind of clever query. And this allows us to find any leaf span or all leaf spans in our database. So I can kind of jump around here and find some different spans that are leaves. 
cool. Uh, next, so new structural operators, we're always excited about those. We think they're important for the future of Tempo. We've also added some new standard operators, or in this case, a binary comparison operator. So previously, we of course had uh, regex. Everybody's got a good regex story. Uh, equals and let's do um, create dot star. So everyone has a good regex operator, of course. In this case, we're looking for any uh, spans whose database statement begins with the word create. So regex is common. It allows us to find, in this case, anything starting with create. I'm immediately jumping into those spans and traces that have them. Uh, what we've added in 2.3 is a negated regex, so the ability to do this. So this is just going to look for any strings who do not match the regex, and this is kind of a quick shortcut, an easy way to look for, um, you know, strings not matching a regex. So in this case, now I'm finding all statements that aren't create. So I got inserts, I got selects, I got deletes, and I'm able to quickly jump into some of these. Maybe I have some kind of query and I don't want it, don't want creates, but I'm interested in other SQL statements. So I've got this clever little uh, negated regex that makes that easy. Uh, next, a new intrinsic status message is clever. Uh, status message, uh, we previously had status. Uh, status allows us to find spans that are an error. Status message allows to search uh, directly for the errors themselves. So um, the status message field exists in the open telemetry proto, and it often, when, when a status is set into the error condition, it often has a really nice um, uh, error string here. And we have made that able, able to search on with the status message intrinsic. And this is just a string, so we can use regexes here. We can do, you know, not equals all of the uh, normal string operations in tempo. So does not equal equals regex, etc. So the status message is a really cool string on HTTP error codes. It'll have a quick description of the error code that was returned. This is a database failure, and I, I'm able to search um, the actual string text string of the database failure, which is pretty cool. One final feature here, uh, we have the ability now to uh, do quoted strings as attribute names. So previously it was impossible in Tempo, although technically possible in OpenTelemetry, to create a, an attribute with like a space in it, for instance. So this is silly, but you know, attribute with spaces. There actually aren't any in this database here, but attribute with spaces. So you couldn't actually, if you created this attribute, which is possible, you could not query this attribute, which may have been frustrating even though it's quite a silly name. Uh, we now have the ability to add quotes um, around a uh, attribute name, and that allows us to uh, have any characters uh, in our attribute name, even if they are special characters in the TraceQL language. So spaces is probably the most obvious one. Um, I'll type uh, I'll type a attribute I know exists, and uh, we can jump just straight to these. Okay, so new TraceQL features in 2.3. We have... Uh, new structural operators. I think uh, structural operators are kind of one of the most important features of Tempo. We're very excited about those. Uh, descendant and uh, parent operators exist now, as well as the negated structural operators. We encourage you to give those a try. We also have negated regex, uh, the new status message intrinsic, which lets you search for errors directly. And finally, we have the uh, ability to put spaces in names, just in case some developer somewhere in your org decides they really want spaces in their names. You too can support that with TraceQL. All right. Hey, take care, everybody. Uh, have fun with 2.3, and I'll see you in 2.4.